time on. So we're all set to go. A full house is back at Twickenham for the first time in 20 months. Penalty advantage being played. There's Furbank. Freddie Stewart. Another of the newcomers in the recent months. Here's Redwan, and Redwan's got it down. Coming back inside to get some support. Young's fizzing the ball out, and really you can see Morath that he is carrying an injury, I know it. And this is the story of last week when Tonga, renowned for their incredibly physical tackling, fell off far too many tackles and allowed Scotland to gain yard after yard, and they've done exactly the same. The same Saracens combo there with George to Atoji. Here is Jamie George, who scored a try when these two met at the World Cup in Sapporo two years ago. He's after another, it's George, and there he is, and he's got it. Then it bursts, he's just waiting for a weakness to happen, they're through the gap, Jamie George one-on-one, -on -one. you're not stopping him from there. England find the danger zone again, Burbank, here's Slade, a chance, oh I say, and on there from Stewart, and here's Johnny May! And there aren't many better finishers in world rugby than that man. All those guys in red, comes out the back. You got Stewart just holding time and may still have to finish, but again, Tonga just run out of numbers, run out of pace. And there's a little bit of a May swan dive. Particularly from France. Well, that's a super catch. And the referee deciding there. So, Solomon Carter. But again, you've got to have Duke here in attention. He's deemed that Tonga didn't have it on that occasion, so I think they'd be lucky or quite happy just to get away with the yellow. There it is for Ben Youngs. The inside ball, and Ellis Genge brushes off the tacklers. The offload, and Atoji gets it down. Yeah, there's that ball back inside. Again, just Tonga just sliding out, and there's no really need to slide out. Takes the contact. And Atoji, when well, he could play in the back row, he could play everywhere, anywhere he wanted, really. He's that good. It's over the line, and then about now adopts it down. Slade. Oh, and it's been poached. And away goes Viano. Across comes Freddie Stewart. It's Leicester fullback against former Leicester fullback. And it's the old boy who wins it, but he can't get it down. <laughs> oh, no. That would have been. Well, we will wait. I don't think he's got it down. If he had got it down, it would have been a fantastic poacher's try. This is it. Goes to a tr if this goes through, this England score a try. He just reads it superbly. And watch this, he's going to step in, he's going to step, there he goes. Then he goes back the other way, and who's their captain? Saves the day, that is a try saving tackle, simple as. Simple as. That is brilliant, hands right round the ball, dislodges the ball. And the crowd are applauding. There you go. That's sensational. Anybody watching that, it does help, I think, if you're, if you're six foot six to get your big levers around it. Pat on the shoulder, he needs more than that. Wow. Trying to attract all the Tongan forwards close to them and then release the backs. Sam Underhill appears OK, at least for the moment. I get a chance to assess him at half time. Jamie George just considering the options. There's Ben Youngs, he's got Johnny May alongside him, but he doesn't need him. His 110th cap. And he gets a big smooch from his Leicester captain, Ellis Gench. Too easy. Again, for a guy of that experience, you can see it happening. Tremendous line out, driven infield. Yeah, just watch this now. Again, Toji takes in, quick, quick, quick pump of the legs, quick pump of the legs, infield, infield, all the time. At the back, the call will come now, straight away. Jamie George acting as a nine, 
You could say Ben Young's acting as a winger, and with that much space, that much gas, that much knowledge and skill, it's too easy. Too easy. Carry from Genge. Slade on there to Furbank. May! Oh! And getting in there was Walter Fafita. Andrea Piardi of Italy was the, or is the assistant referee. It is going to be another 10 minutes. He's conceded a century of points against New Zealand at the Mount Smart Stadium in Auckland. Oh, and look at this. Away goes Ben Youngs. He's enjoying himself, isn't he? On his 110th. And you think everything's going right here, no problem at all. Until the next seven <laughs> wrestles that ball. Milano somehow gifts the try, his second try. So Ben Youngs will have a look at it clearly here. One, two, three, let's see how it's a good rip, it's a good steal. Big number eight one, look forward to that. All good, great. The video replays, Youngs will. He may have lost a yard of pace over the years, but 110 caps today. So Jamie George finds Exeter's Johnny Hill. There's Tom Curry, the inside ball, and Johnny May held up a metre out, but the telescopic arm gets there. And Johnny May looks like he's got his second of the match. And what will be the 35th of his England career? But again, it's a lovely, simple inside ball. Oh, it's a well-worked move. Young's acting as the 10. Curry acting as the 9. Back inside to May. Again, blistering pace. Fuga Fuga does pretty well, but not quite. He's grounded that ball. May gets his second. And that's the sight you don't want to see, dear. Here's Radwan. Radwan running out of space. He's looking for somebody to run inside and change the direction of attack. Okay, we've got a high tackle advantage on the no arms. Oh, and then the board is lost for. Just keep watching there, Craig. On yeah. the floor now, watch his actions once it's completed on the floor, right here. Oh, oh what I say. Initially got a high tackle against you, playing advantage. When the player is on the floor, you took it upon yourself to put the elbow into the face. It doesn't matter what it was, it's straight into the face. I can know what that upturn on a red card. Smith would love to, to do something dazzling, but again, this is what will be talked about. This is the strategy, you get in those positions, you get it to the back and you drive it over. And it's the two Saracens. There's Jamie George, he's got Mato Atoji in front of him. And Jamie George has got another. Actually, Dart, you want to go too quick. There's people on the floor. Well, he's done that a few times. <laughs> there you go. Carried forward there by Don Brandt. England within touching distance of a half century. They've got a one-man advantage, and they've got eight minutes, and they've got Henry Slade inside to Marcus Smith. And the Harlequin takes England beyond 50. Slade does well. He just holds, 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 shows and goes, holds again. No one outruns him. He gets Smith outside, and that's the best way to calm any fears whatsoever. Get someone else to do the work, and you just run it in for 30 minutes. Good on you, fella. More thorough tests away this England side. Looking for our player of the match, and that will be timely for Henry Slade. Has really made his impact, made his presence felt. The ball lost forward there by Avili. 
set, hold it, hold. That keep it sure there's a few bonfires going on tonight. Use it. Hinder people. England under Eddie Jones have been close to unbeatable here at Twickenham. As Adam Radwan tries to find a gap. It's win number 31 at the headquarters of English rugby since uh, Eddie Jones took charge. Just three defeats. They did have a draw. That was against the Scots. One of those three defeats was against the Scots. There's Murray. The last three minutes of the match. Stewart. That's the halfway line. Smith. There's the player of the match. Radway. Great step. Here comes the acceleration. Brushes off Termopio. He's still going. On to Curry. Stewart. England looking to get the 60. Smith. And he releases Blamire. What a start to his test career. Jamie Blamire is having. He scored a try with virtually his first touch on debut here against the United States in July. Marcus Smith, but it's just too many gaps, too much space. Straight through the middle, the direct route sometimes is the best. And just queuing up on the outside, the seer gap, show and go. Big Newcastle look at. There you go. Right up there in uh, the northwest of England. There's Stewart. Almost certainly the last right, phase right. of the match. Curry. Smith. Radwan. Oh, what a step. Look at the pace. Radwan cuts inside. Oh, there was nobody there to take it. Maybe Mitchell will get his chance now. Mitchell scores! It has been a rout. Brad one up that side, little pass from Smith. Gee whiz. It's just absolute wheels. And he just hears a call inside, doesn't go to hand. Comes off a Tongan player. Onto Mitchell, and really he could aqua play that ball over, but he's got such dazzling feet skills. Marcus Smith applies the final touch. And 80 minutes, which has been bookended by little bits of brilliance from Adam Radworth.